Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, hey, because I haven't filmed a video in ages, like a sit down video. So hey, welcome back to Mental Health Mondays. <laughs> Today I thought I would do a bit of a different video. Now, I haven't looked back at my old videos in like forever. Like I actually don't think I've watched back any of like my really old ones because I never used to vlog so I don't watch back like random videos but as you can tell by the title that is what I'm going to be doing today <laughs> so I'm going to be looking back at videos from like 2014, 15 um, and that was when I was quite poorly, <laughs> quite poorly um, so I'm just going to react and I don't really know what to expect because like I said I haven't seen any of these for like the longest time. So without further ado, without a really long intro, let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm on all of my videos. And I'm literally just gonna go oldest. Oh my God, I don't know why I feel really nervous. My heart's going a bit. To be honest, the first, first ones, I was okay. Like I was like 15 um, and I wasn't like problematic. <laughs> okay, so I remember the easy, quick no heat summer hairstyles was when I was at the challenge so I was in year I was in the summer of year 11 and I'd gone to the challenge and I didn't finish it because at the time I didn't know what anxiety was like I didn't know I had it or anything like that but I couldn't finish it <laughs> like I even said I was allergic to fish to try and get out of it like I said that I had allergic reaction to fish I didn't um I don't know what, I, I did have a rash, but I don't know what it was from, I just said it was from fish. But I literally couldn't finish it, like, the idea of going made me feel sick, I couldn't do it. So, this was, like, on a day when I was supposed to go to my friend's house from the challenge, and I couldn't make it because I was too, like, anxious. And, and at the time I had no idea it was anxiety. Oh my god, this song! I didn't... <laughs> Aww, I look quite cute. That was probably Marie Ray's. <laughs> my hair was nice. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, I miss my hair. Like, my hair is, like, really dark now. And not that thick. Like, it's nowhere near that thick. Aww. Wow, it was so long. I'm not gonna lie, I think I look quite sweet. I used to be obsessed with putting plaits in my hair like I used to this sounds really weird every time I used to have like an urge to do something or like got really upset I would put a plait in my hair eventually like I looked like I had red locks like I had so many but I did like that was one of my ways I'd be like okay I'm just gonna plait my hair and then literally what I used to do is I used to have brown hair and then I would get my plaits and I would dye them purple <laughs> like a dark purple I used to be obsessed with having purple hair. Okay, so I want to get on to ones where I actually talk and I remember. Okay, so let's just go on to this one, see what this one entails. Hi guys. Say oh say my hi. god. I remember this. I remember this. I remember looking back at this probably like two years ago and privating it. So, if you look literally a few months ago, uh, literally how many months? Two months prior, look at my hair and look at my like complexion and that compared to this one. So look at look at the difference. Oh my god, so this was when I just started sixth form. So this was in the October. And, and my face is so puffy. My hair, like at the back, you can see that I don't have hair there. Like my hair used to fall out. And this was only in the October. And it was because I, I was really struggling with like binging and purging so much that my hair was falling out. My face was bloated, like, if you can see how puffy my face is. Everyone seems to enjoy it. So, I'm gonna get started. Would you get tattoos? And if so, what tattoos would you get? I'm really, really, really not a... Oh god, I keep saying really in this video. I'm not a tattoo person. I've never really been one who thought I would have tattoos. Um, I don't really mind about other people. I have a tattoo. <laughs> what hair dye do you use for your hair? I have a hair care routine, which I will link down below. Why do you have a hair care routine, Marie? Your hair looks absolutely shocking. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do an update. day. I have plaits in my hair. Oh my god, this is what I'm on about. I'll try and insert a picture of- Look how many I had! Like, literally I used to do this constantly. And I used to dye them purple. 
I was such a freak, like literally I was such a freak. What type slash style of music do you listen to? Music taste is extremely, I want to say diverse, if that's the right word. So I'm gonna have like an overlay of my iTunes right now. My iTunes literally goes from like... Oh my God, these are all these songs that I used to listen to when I was so ill. I literally can't listen to most of these songs right now because they make me, they just remind me of not being very well. The XX, The Courtenaires, Peace. Bombay Bicycle. The XX. The Courtenaires. And I wasn't like doing great at this time, but I wasn't like ill, ill, but I was miserable. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it, like I was miserable. Okay, what's the next one? Okay, so. 100 questions no one asked. This actually got like nearly 4,000 views. Why? Why? I just want to first point out that I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I look rough as fuck. <laughs> I'm in my pajamas, but. I don't care. And I also have a... I don't care. <laughs> this was December. This was not a good time. <laughs> and then um, brushed my hair today, so all Ooh. about the tramp look. <laughs> yeah. Do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? What is with this fucking music? I literally hate this music. Do, 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 do. How many people have you slept with this week? Um, what do you say about... <sighs> so many. Probably about six and a half, seven maybe. I don't know. You know, can't keep up. What size oh my god. I actually know. Oh, can it slow down? Let me have a look. You see that? That's what I lived with. My, I used to wear long sleeves, but then I used to put the bracelets over the sleeves constantly. So this gives me an indication that things were not good at this time. Not good. So I was definitely self-harming on my arms at this point, which took a while to do. Like, I didn't do that at the start. Full get ready with me party. 16th of November. Let's have a look. Oh damn it. It's that song again. Oh, I remember when this one. Oh, <laughs> I look really miserable in this. So I was 16 here. I was really not happy. This makes me sad. Look, even when I'm smiling, I'm not. Do you know what I mean? Okay, that's enough of this video. <laughs> I don't like that video. So from this, it seems that I used to only upload like once a month. <laughs> so my, my whole um, schedule was not good. Okay, let's go on to the next page. Next page. Am I back on this shit Wi-Fi now? I'm not even on the shit one. Okay, let's go to... <laughs> oh shit, I see it. Funeral hall. <laughs> I can't believe I actually called it that. Oh, my baby. Hello. Oh. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a back to school. I look okay there. Do you see what I mean? Like over summer, I felt better and you can tell. Like that's the thing with your videos, you can really tell. Um, so this was 30th of August, so I'd been on holiday. So my mum and dad were very much aware that I was self-harming. So. Well, I've had an idea that I might name this video either a hell hall, because we'll go back to hell, or a funeral hall, because I'm going to be mourning my happiness for the next year. I mean, I mean, yes. <laughs> How ironic is it that I said that? Like, this was how much I hated school. I literally said in a YouTube video, <laughs> I'm going to be mourning my happiness for the next year. Like, Marie babes. I wish I could go back and just tell myself that either one, you're very right but very wrong in two ways. First of all, you're going to be mourning your happiness for like the next three years. <laughs> I'm joking. But I'm like, oh my god, how sad is that? How old was I? 17? 16? I was, I was 17 at this point. I was so miserable, it's unreal. This is in like a nice little like paisley flower print. I have never worn that top in my whole life. <laughs> Literally never. Primark have seriously nice cardigans than that at the moment, so I'd definitely go check them out. Oh my god! That's my cardigan! This cardigan, this cardigan, I literally lived in. I was so excited by that. I lived in this cardigan. This was my favourite cardigan ever. And I know that sounds really weird and sad, but I lived in this cardigan. It was my favourite, like, I just lived in it. This, like, Oh, I don't have it anymore. I'm such a cardigan person. I'm always in cardigans. Why? <laughs> Why are you always in cardigans, Marie? <laughs> Isn't that weird? Like I always say things to the camera that at the time like none of you guys knew. 
but like I don't know why I would say it that's really weird that makes me so feel like weird inside because I'm like joking like I'm always in cardigans innocent when in fact it's not right. I literally film my videos I, got I literally film my videos and I'm like this like refusing to lift my hands up I'm like mm, so I got this and I got this because <laughs> I didn't want anyone to see my arms okay <laughs> I've already stubbed my toe yeah. Um, okay, so this is the video. This is one of the last videos I think I filmed before I went into hospital. And when I was in hospital, they always like, I don't know, they found out that I did videos and then they would always watch them. And this would be the one they commented on because they'd always be like, you don't have cuts on your arms in this video. Like, you don't have this. You don't have that. You look really happy. When was this? 11th of October, oh my god. So this is basically like just over two weeks before I went into a psychiatric hospital for wanting to die. So <laughs> I'm really interested in how I like come across. Ow! What really hurts? Shit. Ow. I am aware that I'm wearing a top. Pajama bottom was perfect. I was off school at this time for being like ill. So this is why I'm interested in doing this video because I want to see how like. I am perceived, if that makes sense. My toes, so I don't care. Really, really like, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm gonna actually proper watch this video. So, I am skinnier in this video. I can tell because I don't have the little um, boob chub. <laughs> like, like, when I go like that, normally I have like this little fold. I normally try to, although sometimes I forget because in the morning I'm just like, ah. So, the first thing is actually really. What I'm noticing is I'm actually quite erratic <laughs> in this video. Like, I'm very erratic, I'm speaking very fast, like, I don't really remember this time in my life but I can tell that I would have filmed this video and then been like, Ugh. after, like, this would have taken all of my energy but I seem way too much, like, I'm not this normally, do you know what I mean, like, there's a bit of a happy medium and this, this is very erratic. I don't know why this is in there, but I'm guessing that goes with that. I haven't been in school the last like for a while because I haven't been feeling very like I haven't been very well so yeah <sighs> I haven't been in school for been in school for a while because like I haven't been feeling like I haven't been feeling very well ambiguous Marie <laughs> ambiguous I was so embarrassed about being off school for my mental health like so embarrassed that's why I kept putting videos up because I was really ashamed, I was really like confused about what I was feeling but I didn't want anyone in school to think that I was like I don't know, I must have been such a mind fuck. like I was off school for two weeks or so I wouldn't reply to anyone's text nothing like that, I wouldn't speak to any of my friends and yet I'd put videos up where I'm seeming really happy oh my god <laughs> I'm literally like what the fuck I have a lot of crap in my bag so. this is tragic and I have, oh my god what is this my personal statement, which I haven't done yet, so let's forget about that and just pretend that I don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to do it, babes. You didn't have to do it. Don't worry. Spoiler alert, you didn't have to do it. <laughs> I have a stapler. That is literally not a stapler. Because <laughs> I always like to staple my work or other people that are pissing me off. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not that aggressive. Then I have some lip Okay. Pads. Because I'm literally like a camel at school and I drink so much water. This is actually my favourite time. Like my bin is just, look, chief full of Pepsi Max and water. My diet. <laughs> I'm joking. What? Joking. I'm joking. See, this is what I mean. I'm making yet another like weird joke where I'm like, I'm joking. But inside I knew that I wasn't. And like me looking back now, I'm like, you are not joking. You say so many weird things that are like, I don't know how to describe it, like, I just keep saying weird things that are almost he hinting, like, my diet, no I'm joking, but obviously I wasn't, <sighs> I don't know, okay, so I uploaded a video called Depth Thoughts, I have no idea what it's about, okay, so I look pretty pale here, <laughs> and my eyes look a bit dead, <laughs> like, my eyes have always been quite sparkly, and when I was ill, my eyes were literally just like, matte, <laughs> Like matte finish eyes. It's called the deep questions tag. Oh, <laughs> I thought I did a video on like Johnny Depp. I was like, 
depth thoughts, deep thoughts, that makes sense. Okay, so I just said that my mum and dad have been very supportive. It's really, really amazing and supportive because of things that have happened recently. So I was hinting that something may have gone wrong. I think even that, I, I think what you need to know is that before I ever started speaking about my mental health, nobody knew. Like, when I say nobody knew, I literally mean, like, nobody knew. So I think even saying that in a video would have been way too much for me to, like, say, if that makes sense. Like, even though I make these videos, I'm still naturally a very private person. And back then, it was, like, bad. Like, it wasn't healthy. Number six, is it possible to love someone if you don't love yourself? In this video again, making reference, she said how she's always been really comfortable with herself, and I really don't feel the same. Like I'm, I'm not at all with me, with myself. No, I do love. Uh, sorry, there's an alarm going off. For God's sake, I'm trying to have a deep. There are always police cars where I live. Always, like even back then, there was always them. Oh no, I love other people, so yeah, I would say that that is possible. Although I think it's harder for someone to love you. If you don't love yourself, because I know for a fact with me, I'm... Do you see the way I just like stared for ages? I would say that that is possible. Although, I think it's harder for someone to love you if you don't love yourself, because I know for a fact with me... My eyes look so scary then, I'm like, just like... I feel like everything in my mind was processing, and I was like so aware of not saying something wrong, but still giving a good answer. My mind would have. <laughs> I'm extremely guarded past. There's only probably like two or three people that I completely open up to, and even I don't do it often at all. You're lying. <laughs> you do not open up to anyone at this point. This is deep love. I think it's more difficult to love someone who doesn't love themselves rather than to love someone else if you don't love yourself, if that makes sense. <laughs> Number seven, do you even. I have a point though. I think I have a point. Number nine, do you focus more on the past, the present, or the future? I really don't like thinking about the future, like, at all. I, I really, I don't know, it makes me, like, anxious. I hate it, especially now, because of, like, uni and that, and I have no idea what I want to do, and I, I, it's just so, like, unknown and unclear things really make me, like, so I don't like thinking about them. Aww. So I was literally like weeks away from going into hospital and I was still worrying about fucking uni. <sighs> That's made me a moan. like, for God's sake, I wish someone would just shake me and tell me you don't have to go to uni, you don't have to do all these things, you don't have to hate yourself. Like, I was literally at home during this time, I wouldn't leave the house, I wouldn't do anything, I was still thinking about how can I get to fucking uni. And that's because the school that I went to just drilled that into me. Like, I had to go to uni in order to be successful. Jesus! Focus on what do you think about or do to make you feel better? I'm really, 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 really bad at this because when I am, like, anxious or worried or, you know, like, having a really bad time, then I find it difficult to rationalise the situation. And that's something my dad always says to me and, like, other people have said to me because, I don't know, I just get so worked up about things that I just can't rationalise it. And I'm quite a level-headed person when I'm in... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, are you level-headed, Marie? Isn't that weird, though? I still have this problem. A mind frame that is quite stable, you know? But, um... Stable. Never heard of it. I'm not a very, like, I really don't like how school makes me, I mean it's just something else which makes me really bad. I'm still hinting. I think this is why I think this is why I didn't upload this video because it was like too much information. Like I said too much. I was so not happy. Okay, so I think this was like the last video I did before Oh shit, okay. Okay, so that video was uploaded on the 8th of October, and then my next video wasn't until February the 7th. So that's October, November, December, January, February, so five months later. I have never watched this video back. Okay, so I have never watched this video back. I was such a mess during this video, I was still in hospital. I feel a bit sick. <laughs> Hello everyone. I think I have a 
have some explaining to do. So I just want to, um, firstly, 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 just firstly apologise. I do look better though. Do you agree? Like, I do look healthier. No. My sister's singing hairspray, so if you can hear my sister singing hairspray, please ignore. The video in nearly four months. Um, I, I was so scared to film this video, man. Like, this was probably one of the hardest things I've done in my life. Like, even now, I think this is probably one of the hard. Like, even now, I think this is probably one of the hardest things I have ever done. And after this video, I don't think I want to watch any more for the moment. I wanted to just start uploading videos again because I feel like I need to. I really enjoy making videos. I am not looking at the camera one bit. And, um, I don't know. Amy, shut up! In the past four months, it's just everything's kind of turned upside down. Uh, the reason, okay, I'm just going to say it straight. The reason I'm really scared about making this video is because once I say it, I can't go back, you know? Once I see what's been going on, you know, I can't hide it anymore. It's just what it is, and that's how it's going to be. Like me saying that I was scared about telling people because basically I was such a perfectionist that I didn't want to seem, um, like, vulnerable. Like, I didn't want to be vulnerable to anyone. I didn't want anyone to think I was weak. The past few months have been really, 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 really difficult and I've actually been in... Oh my god, I can't say it. You can see everything in my demeanour. You can see everything in my whole demeanour telling me not to say it. Like, wait, if I put it on silent. So my head goes to the side as if I'm telling myself no, as if like I'm trying to stop myself. My jaw and everything clenches up and like I close my eyes to like try and avoid what I'm trying to say. And I literally turn away, I literally turn away. When people say that people with like mental health problems are like making it up and it's all in your head like it isn't it isn't like it's a mental illness but at the end of the day it has so many like physical emotional repercussions like that there was like i don't know it really like hit me in the heart and i don't know why but it's it's like my whole body was like, everyone always says, like, it's your mind against your body. Like, your mind wants to die, but your body doesn't. My whole body then was tensed up. My, my, my illness ruled everything. So, in something as simple as telling the truth and being vulnerable to someone, my mind was telling everything in my body not to do it. Now, when people talk about, like, impulses and, like, you're actually in control, like, you're in control, like, you don't have to self-harm, you're in control, like, you don't have to have a panic attack, you're in control, just think nice things, like, no, no, it's not true because your mind is ruling your body and if your mind's sick, then it rules your body in a way that is not healthy and not natural. So there comes a time when you're in control and this is showing it, so in the next five seconds, I'm pretty sure I will tell you that I was in hospital. That to me shows that first of all and first and foremost my illness was in control at this point because I had to be submissive to it. I had to turn away and I had to not admit to what was going on because everything in my mind and my whole illness was, was around control and about being pure and being clean and I thought that if I had this illness then I was dirty and I was vulnerable and everything was wrong with me. So the fact that I literally succumbed to it at first and then took a stance shows that, yes, part of you is still in there. I was still there, but first and foremost, that fucking illness was in control. I don't want to get upset. The reason I haven't been making videos is not because I didn't want to, it's just because for three months now, since October, I went into hospital. I said that in literally like one gulp. 
my life has just kind of taken a bit of a crazy step. Um, I can't believe I just said it. Look at that shame. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't know if I want to watch any more of this. Woo! Okay, I'm not going to watch any more and I'm just going to tell you my thoughts while they're kind of like fresh in my mind. So I actually found doing that quite interesting. First and foremost, seeing when I was speaking and when kind of my illness would speak. And I don't like um, personifying an illness. Like, I don't like saying, like, I don't know. I don't like seeing it as something that's really powerful and almost equal to me. Like, me me speaking, then my illness speaking. That makes it kind of, like, almost equal to me. I don't like that. I don't like it being attached to me. I like just saying that I had it, you know, like, whatever. But I can see there how much I was just consumed by all of my thoughts constantly. Like, I just wasn't me. I don't know how I managed to gain subscribers because in one video I'd be miserable as fuck. And in the second video I'd be erratic as like anything and just like blah 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 blah, blah all the time. But I think it's also very interesting in how easy it is to mask things and how at that time, okay, I thought I was fucking master of the masks. I thought I was the masquerade. <laughs> I thought I was incredible. I thought I was great at covering everything up. But watching back as almost like, like, yes, that was me, but I feel impartial to that now. Like, I feel like that wasn't me. It was like a separate version of me, which sounds weird, but it, like, seeing it from an outward perspective as someone who is not that person anymore. I can see how broken I am, but how, how much I don't care. Like, I literally don't care in any of those videos. Like, I, I think that I'm so good at putting on this mask and pretending that I'm okay, but I can see now that I'm not. And I only watched like, what, six of my videos and I left so many like little Easter eggs of information which subliminally, 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 I can't say it, subliminally, oh, you know what I mean, <laughs> that like covertly sent a message saying that I wasn't okay. I don't know, I find that very interesting because I was not aware that I was doing it. But, the, but I think that like the part of me that was trapped inside <laughs> was like sending messages out like I was fucking doing morse code <laughs> I think that's really interesting because I was definitely not aware that I was doing that but, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I don't know if it's really enjoyable but I definitely think it's quite insightful um, if you want me to do like a part two of like when I was out of hospital and like in my really awkward recovery stage then I can do that too maybe like a midweek video sometime let me know what you think like I'll be really interested in to know what you think like do you do you, like here's a question do you notice a difference in me like would you have subscribed to that person would you have noticed that something was maybe wrong because I don't know I think it's hard to think about that when you know but I'm trying to think of if I didn't know would I know and that's why I think the easter egg bits are like almost quite important but yeah this actually like really tugged at my heart um and what I've learned from this is that Yes, people can put on a mask, but that mask always cracks a bit. And if you really listen to what people say, and if you are worried about someone, listen to what they say. And if you are picking up on weird vibes or like different vibes from your friend, then like check up on them because they might not be okay. Like for real, like just check up on your mates. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. And I really, really hope you enjoyed, like I said, and I will see you in a video soon. See ya!